Hello and thank you for watching today's unboxing and assembly video. In today's video, we're going to unbox and assemble the Maxima four-wheel mobility scooter, which is known as model number SC941. You can purchase this scooter in a three-wheel configuration as well, and I'm going to leave the brochure on the screen here for a few moments in case you want to go back to it at any time. This mobility scooter is known for being one of the few that can carry up to 500 pounds, and it has a very powerful motor. When your scooter arrives, it's going to have a very big cardboard box that's laying over the top. Now, you can remove the box first, but it helps to open up the box and see that there is a separate box on top attached to the wooden frame with your charger, your mirrors, your user manual, and a couple of other things. And now we're just unpackaging the scooter, which comes with a plastic sheet around it. Just go ahead and remove that and then begin working on the tie-down straps that are located on the front and the rear. There's a total of four tie-down straps. The straps themselves are tied in a knot, so first you want to untie that knot and then loosen up each strap. And they are fished through the docking station loops on the rear of the frame and the front of the frame as well. So as shown in the video here, just go ahead and remove all four straps. The next thing you're going to want to do is disengage the automatic braking system by pulling the yellow lever upwards so that it's in the upward position in the N mode for neutral mode. Next, we're going to go ahead and just cut the zip ties that are holding the styrofoam protective sheeting around the front of the scooter both on the steering column and on the handlebars themselves go ahead and remove that and be sure to keep all of your packaging for at least five days in case you need to return your product very important now once you have the styrofoam sheeting off of the front you can go ahead and raise that tiller adjustment lever which allows you to raise the tiller assembly up you can also use that to adjust the tilt of the handlebars. At this point, we're going to go ahead and just remove the two tie-down straps on the front of the scooter, which are looped through the frame. You want to go ahead and just follow along with this video and get those two tie-down straps completely loose and out of the way completely so that you can roll the scooter right off of the pallet. We are going to recommend removing the pieces of padding on the front once you get the front two wheels off the lip of the pallet. You can just go ahead and lift the front of the scooter and then pull those pieces of matting out as shown here in the video. Once you do that, you can move the scooter forward just a little bit so that the front wheels are resting on the ground and the frame's not on the pallet. And then just grab the back of the scooter by the frame and roll it right off of the pallet. There's nothing to it. At this point, we're just removing some of the cellophane that's around the shroud cover and the rear taillights. Uh, what we're going to do now is show you that you do need to actually connect the batteries. When this unit arrives, the batteries are not connected. So just go ahead and remove that battery shroud cover like we just did here. And you're going to see that there are two very big connectors. Those are power connectors for each battery. You want to fish those connectors underneath the battery strap so that those wires are not pressing up against that battery cover when you go to reinstall it. It's a little bit difficult to see the actual connection points, but if you look under that black body piece in the back of the scooter there where the stickers are, you're going to see two terminal connections. You're going to want to go ahead and connect those two power connectors into those receivers. You need to install both of those harness connectors because this is a 24 volt system and each battery is going to deliver 12 volts to the unit. So go ahead and firmly connect them as shown here and then just reattach the battery shroud cover. You'll notice there are two tabs on the front of the cover and two holes on the floorboard. We recommend putting those tabs in the holes first and then tilting the shroud cover back to connect it nice and easily. Might take a few times, don't get too frustrated. After doing it a few times, it should be a breeze. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the seat out of the box. It does come with a captain's seat with height adjustable and width adjustable armrests. They also flip up. You can also rotate the seat and it does have a semi recline feature as well as a headrest that is height adjustable. We're going to show you all of that here in just a moment. First, you just want to go ahead and get the seat out of the box and go ahead and unwrap it. There's going to be a lot of styrofoam protective sheeting and plastic sheeting. You'll notice sandwiched between the bottom part of the seat and the backrest, you'll find the headrest, which you will need to unpackage as well. And just take your time. We're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. And then once you have it all in package, you'll want to just identify that seat post male connection at the bottom of the seat, right in the middle, which is being pointed out. That seat post is going to slide right into the receiving end of the seat post in the middle of the battery shroud container that sticks up there, that silver post. It just drops right in. You're going to have to just get it in there and wiggle it into place. There's really nothing to it. Now we're just installing the headrest, which works just like an automobile headrest. There's a little 
tab there that you can use to adjust the height. And at this point, we're going to unpackage the armrests themselves and the 90 degree elbow connectors for the armrests, which are packaged separately. Those 90 degree angles will be installed first and they're going to act as sleeves for the armrests. You'll need to loosen the tension adjustment knob and pull out the securement pin for each of the armrest rails when installing that 90 degree elbow. So you go ahead and slide that 90 degree elbow in once you've loosened the knob enough and you've taken out that silver pin. And then once it's installed, just retighten the knob and reinstall that pin. You'll want to rinse and repeat on the other side. Once you have both of the elbows in, the armrests just fall right into that 90 degree elbow sleeve. And you can adjust the width by using those tension adjustment knobs, which are on the screen now, as well as the securement pins. There's three different holes on the armrest rail, so you can slide the armrest 90 degree angle out or in to bring them either closer together or further apart, depending on the user's preference. There's also a one inch universal hitch receiver on the back of the chair to use for rear baskets, oxygen tank holders, and many other accessories. You do need to raise the armrest about an inch before you tighten it with the provided Allen key that's in the user manual bag. Uh, if you don't, the armrest will not flip up. So again, make sure that when you're tightening the armrest adjustment set screw that's located on the side of the armrest with your Allen key as shown here, that you have the armrest at least an inch up high so that it can flip up. Otherwise, they will not flip up. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove some of the components that were in the box attached to the top part of that wooden frame, such as the charger, which is a 24 volt automatic charger. We're also gonna find the user manual bag, which you should read the user manual in its entirety. The keys are also in that bag, and you're also gonna take out the basket now, which is in that same box. The basket has two rails on the back, and on the front of the scooter, there's two sets of hooks. There's really nothing to it. You just slide the basket right onto the hooks, and it connects. We're also gonna show you now how to install the mirror. This scooter comes with one mirror, and there is another threaded hole on the left side of the steering assembly, which we can show you, but we're installing this mirror on the right side. You can install it on the left or the right side. You just wanna make sure you screw the mirror into the threaded hole. And then once you have it tight enough, you'll wanna use the loose end at the bottom. There's a little tension nut that you can adjust and tighten to make sure that it doesn't keep rotating. You might need a pair of pliers to tighten them, but we just went ahead and did it with our hands here. Now we're gonna show you that the scooter does have turn signals, a left and a right turn signal, which is very nice at nighttime when you wanna let people know you're about to turn. We're showing you on the front and the rear how the turn signals look. And now we're gonna also show you the hazard mode, which basically is just like the blinker, but both of them will go at the same time on the front and the rear. It also has a standard running light for the front and the rear. These are LED lights. They're very efficient and bright. The scooter has a traditional steering assembly. It does have an ambidextrous delta tiller, which means you can use your left or your right hand independently. It does also have a speed control knob. Before turning your scooter on, make sure that you have the brake lever in the drive mode or else it will not work. Go ahead and turn the key. The ignition's on the right hand side and you should see the battery meter light up. It also has a nice horn on it, which is pretty loud. And this scooter is really great for going on grass as well as up hills. It has a super powerful motor, really big tires. We highly recommend it to anybody that wants a mobility scooter that's gonna carry up to 500 pounds and allow you to go on grass and rugged terrain. If you have any questions about the scooter, visit our website, Mobility Direct. And if you like this video, make sure to like it, drop a question in the comment section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and you wanna get notified when new ones come out just like it. Thank you for watching, have a great day.